A new book is taking a deep dive into the phenomenon of influencers pushing misinformation under the banner of New Age spirituality. Can spirituality, here it is here, discusses false theories about COVID-19, green smoothie recipes, and other prophecies of global transformation. For more, we are joined by one of the book's authors, Matthew Remsky. Matthew, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. I think we should begin there, can spirituality, and how you're defining this. It is a strange new online religion that mingles a fascination with conspiracy theories, with the promises of new age spirituality, and in the process, it throws off all kinds of pseudoscientific cures, cultic dynamics, and sometimes a fascination with right-wing extremism. All right, misinformation seems to be everywhere these days. Can you give us some examples uh, of this that you've seen online? Well, we have studied in the book, for instance, people like, you know, angel channelers who will say that Donald Trump is a light worker who's sent to overturn the natural order and return godliness. Um, we've seen alternative health icons say that uh, vaccines are designed to poison us, but that's actually a good thing because that will encourage us to improve the spiritual nature of our health programs. Um, and we've also seen, you know, people like uh, Robert F. Kennedy now take that same premise of anti-authoritarian, anti-institutional, medical libertarianism and turn that into a whole political campaign. And let's talk about the dangers of this. Yeah, well, what we wanted to do was to really show how, you know, alternative wellness and yoga and new age demographics are actually particularly vulnerable to um, political demagoguery because we're talking about um, a, a culture and a demographic that has been actively depoliticized over the last 40 years. It's been told to go with the flow, that you know political concerns are like low vibration. Um, and so that means that when a demagogue rolls through with a QAnon message, you know, people can really take it up and become excited and feel like they have something to really act on. Mm -hmm. You also write in this uh, book, Matthew, you're very open about your own journey when it comes to being a, a cult member. Yeah. And uh, talk to us a bit about that, if you can, and maybe some of the similarities uh, you've seen with this phenomenon you're talking about. Well, the similarities are clear in the sense that what a cult always does is it, on one hand, it paints the picture of the world that is just unsolvable. Uh, terrible things are happening. Um, you know, uh, uh, the forces are out to get you. Uh, but if you stay with the leader, if you stay with the organization, if you follow all of these particular rules, and if you stay close within this community, you'll be safe. And that's the double message of conspirituality. Terrible things are happening in the world, uh, but that's actually an opportunity for you to go deeper into spiritual practice with the guide of a charismatic leader who has all of the answers. So for yourself, at what point did you realize you were starting to go down a bit of a path? Well, this is about 20 years ago now, uh, in my experience, but I guess what I realized was the difference between uh, the leader's message and their actual personality. That what the people who were running the groups that I was involved with clearly were doing was they were taking their own sort of narcissistic tendencies and they were projecting their own needs onto their followers uh, and they were actually quite insecure people uh, when you got close enough to figure out what was going on. That didn't make it easy to leave, of course, because after a number of years, you know, you become socially enmeshed, you're behind in terms of your earning potential and your family's alienated and so it's a struggle to leave even once you see it. Mm -hmm. Now, Matthew, there's been so many headlines about the dangers of misinformation, and as we mentioned off the top, it's become so prevalent uh, in society now. Uh, what are some of the signs that people need to be aware of? Well, with regard to the influencers that we study, uh, the first thing to look for is the large claim without evidence. You know, if a person is saying that, you know, uh, COVID can be overcome through the boosting of your immune system, through meditation, you probably want to see some evidence for that. Um, because the thing that happens in these circles is that uh, it's really charisma that's the primary coin of the realm. It's not like the influencers really have any credentials. It's not like they can prove what they're saying is true. So really what it becomes uh, a, a, 
a method is, or a part, the, the thing that you have to look for is uh, how, are the, how is the influencer actually presenting themselves as an expert without anything to stand on. And that will happen through aesthetics, it will happen through vocal technique, it'll happen through you know, intrusive eye contact, um, through a lot of different things. Really interesting. It's so much more in this. It is called Conspirituality. It is available now. Matthew, thank you for coming in. Thank you so much.